Welcome to Apps by Paul Hamilton. Today we're going to look at Poplet, which Poplet is the little P at the bottom right hand corner there. And we're, it's kind of a, a mind mapping uh, tool, but it has some really terrific features that I'd like to show you. So the context that we're going to be using it in today, I'm going to click on Make New Poplet. We'll select a background. We'll also call it Scientists, because today we're going to look at um, scientist skills, scientific skills, but more the habits of mind that science, so, uh, successful scientists use and also trying to connect those with the students um, skills that they want to actually obtain. So I basically touch on that poplet, it gives me some options, the border, put in some text, draw up or a picture. I'm going to just put in some text here and put our heading. So scientists um, and I might put down the bottom here, uh, habits of mind. And then I just touch on the side of the page to get rid of it. When I touch on that again, it gives me some options. Um, and so what I can do is I can touch one of these branch off ones and it gives me a, a, another cloud, I guess a mind map cloud. For this one, I'm gonna select the picture icon and I'm gonna select the take a photo. So it looks for me, I can turn my camera around I'll just angle that up a little bit and it takes the picture and I press use and then I press done. And so there I can just manipulate that over, I might just do a little bit of tidying up there and I've got a picture of myself and I might just put some text down the bottom and say that that is, um, let's go capital letters, Mr. Hamilton and click off it and then I can just position that. So we're looking at connecting two people with this. Um, the other person that we're going to connect with by hitting this other branch here, and I'll select picture, is I found a picture open library here of Caroline Herschel, who is a very famous uh, female scientist um, who was the first person to discover comets and uh, one of the first women to actually get published scientific journals um, uh, written. So a very famous uh, female scientist there. And what we're going to do is our year three students are going to start making some connections between the habits of mind. So one of the habits that I know that uh, Caroline Herschel used was, and I'll do a little branch off here, is that she definitely used um, gathering data through all senses. I know this for sure because she wouldn't be able to do what she did if she didn't use that skill. So what I'm trying to do now is with our year three students who have just finished a scientific investigation is trying to match that up. And so if I was a year three student and I clicked on here, I'm looking at, okay, um, I can gather data as well. But more importantly, what did I demonstrate during my scientific unit that I did last term that shows evidence that I gathered data through all, sentence, uh, through all senses? And I could put in a picture there of me actually doing that. As a teacher, I could use that as formative summative assessment. Um, I can use this in a range of different um, ways. For this mind map though, basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to match um, the scientific habits of mind that famous scientists use, successful scientists, with mine. And so this mind map will grow and grow and grow. And I can do a range of different things, but very simil similar to um, Simple Mind as a mind mapping tool, but it allows me to put in some pictorial um, and some other options as well, which I think is really beneficial. If I press on the export at the top right hand corner, you can see there that I can save it as a JPEG, I can email it or as a JPEG or a PDF as well. Um, we don't have email accounts set up to our iPads because we're currently sharing them at the moment, which is not ideal. Um, so we would save that as a, as a JPEG and then maybe print it or even better, just show it to a teacher and, and they can mark it from there. Paul Hamilton here signing off. Hope uh, you can see how Poplet can be used in a range of different contexts.